Hello, this is Hello Gabius, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification, and like this video. In today's video, I have gel polish haul that I want to show you. I want to unbox it, and I also want to show you the colors. I want to show you how I actually display the nail polish bottles and the color swatches in my room so here i am on just my desk and i do have an alcohol some cotton swabs i do have a towel on my desk to protect my desk i do have a uv lamp as well that i use to cure the color swatches so i have that here ready to go and i have here the swatches that I use so these are all purchased from Amazon and these are just swatches uh, I do like that they come in clear so you pretty much just paint the color over they do have a keyhole and they do have numbers that you can put on the actual bottle matching the swatch and then you put it on the key ring and for example these are ones that i have done already so this is what i do to kind of get myself organized and then i'll show you the little shelf on my wall that i used to actually put the actual bottles gel polish bottles so let's get started let me first show you what i am going to unbox so this is the Air Brit or A Brit Gel Polish UV LED Soak Off. There are 20 colors in here. So very excited to have this. I don't know what colors they are. I ordered this a bit ago and I already forgot what they are. So let's go ahead and open it. So this is what we have. So it came with some rhinestones and these do have a flat bottom. And I noticed that on some of the rhinestones that I have that don't have a flat bottom, they're very hard for me to actually put on my nails. And so them having a flat bottom, just like you see these here, um, they're just much easier to put on in my opinion. I am a very, very beginner in nail art. So cool, you get some rhinestones in here, you get the little user manual, and then the warranty card for, uh, I'm not sure for what, if something arrived broken, maybe the gel polishes. So anyways, it also comes with, it looks like some chrome colors. Ooh, maybe some glitters. Ooh, look at how pretty these are. Silver pink. Ooh, look at this one. This is more like a, a darker pink. Ooh, I like this one. There's very little bit of it, I see. More of an iridescent. Little sprinkles here. Ooh, we have some nice green. And we have some bigger chunky ones and they're white and silver. These are awesome. Totally love it. So we get those six glitters and then you also get three brushes. So you get like a gel brush and then you get like a little fan brush and then a little uh, thinner, more precision brush here. You get three brushes. Cool, and then these are all of the colors. But off the bat, this is a base coat, a matte top coat, a regular top coat, and then this is a reinforced gel polish. I don't know what this one is for. So if you open it, Maybe it'll just give the color a little bit more pop. 
more clarity I am not sure now we do have the colors so just like it says on the box there are 20 colors and I'm very very excited because I'm also exploring all these colors and trying to get a little bit more creative like I said I am a beginner so 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 much a beginner so this is what I do when I start swatching so I am going to move this aside so I have some of my swatches sticks here my number labels I do have also a top coat and a base coat that I use I pretty much use this these little bottles these are not good top coat and a base coat and that's why I use it when I ever I do swatches because I really can't use it on my own. There's just not as good as quality, but for swatches, they're, they're okay. So this is what I use, and if I use it up, even better, because I didn't use it on my own hands. So just taking the first color, um, again, these are gel polishes. This is color Q20. It looks like it'd be maybe like a taupe. So if I open it up, Ooh, this is like an off-white, almost like a like a bone color. So, so this is what I do. So I do get the swatch stick. So I just get every swatch stick and I put some base coat. And again, I do this because even though they're just swatches, base coat is not needed. I need to use up this little bottle because I'm not using it on my own nails. It's not a good quality base coat. So just to use up the product, really. Instead of just throwing the little bottle away, that's what I like to do, just to use up the product. But let me just say that just taking an afternoon and doing this is just so satisfying. And it's very stress relieving for me, and I just love it. I just love spending an afternoon and doing this. So after I have done quite a few of these swatch sticks, putting base coat on, and I have cured it on the LED lamp, then I can go ahead and start swatching the colors. So this one already has a base coat on it, and I'm gonna take my first color, and it is Q. To zero so what I do is that for example my numbers are starting from 71 I take the little number and I place it on the bottle I place it on the bottle I take another 71 we should have two of the same and I put it on my swatch stick I do not write it on with a sharpie because I noticed that when I'm fumbling through trying to figure out what color I want I end up rubbing off some of the marker so I do use a sharpie or I did and I found that I was rubbing off even with a sharpie I thought it was a little surprising so I just got to sticking the actual uh, number on the little swatch stick to match it with the nail polish so if i like this color i know to look for this number and that's how i do it so let's start swatching this color so this is a nice off white color and like i said swatching these is just so satisfying you can just take your time I like to watch YouTube videos and I like to listen to the crime YouTube videos, those crime mystery murder YouTube videos and I like to listen to it. It's like a soap opera for me. And cool. So then I do the first coat and I cure it for 30 seconds on the lap. So I may start on another color while I'm at it, while the other one is curing, or I'll just wait for it. So 30 seconds are up, and I take back, and I do two coats. I do two coats for every one of my swatches, just so that I can know exactly what the true color is of the gel polish. 
I will not do a third. And as I'm gauging and trying to find what color I would want to paint my nail, I could always add another color and I know that it'll be darker or less see-through or whatever it is. So this is now my second coat. I will not do it anymore. And now I can do another cure for 30 seconds. I can now put away this bottle. So after it has cured for 30 seconds, I can put a top coat on the swatch. Again, they're just swatches, I understand, but this is not a good quality top coat. And just to use up the product, I am going to use it on my swatches. Just to bring out the color, especially if they're glitters, you do want to put top coat so you can see the true color for when you're deciding if you're going to use that color for your manicure. So now here is the top coat. Curing it for 30 seconds. And now I do have my cotton round and my alcohol that I am going to use to wipe it off after it cures because it's very sticky. So there you go. I am going to now rub it off with alcohol and this is my first swatch, number 71. And this is the little bottle that it will coordinate because the numbers are matching numbers. So now I am going to do the same thing for all 20. Then I will come and talk to you guys again and I'll tell you where I'm going to display them in my room. Okay, and that is the end of the 20 colors. So these are all of the little nail polishes that I swatched and I numbered them. And this is going to help me find the color I want depending on the swatch by the number on top. So and now these are the actual swatches and there's so so many maybe i should put them on here there's a lot of pink colors which i'm not mad about because i love pink 
going to try to group all the pinks together. And I also found some that were in the green hues, and I absolutely love that too. I love to receive new colors because normally I won't think outside of taupes and pinks and things like that. So I'm pretty happy about these colors. I got a bright white too, which I'm very happy about. Oh no. So I'm just trying to put them in order by shade. And I got a yellow too, I'm so psyched about that. And an orange and more blues. There's just so many. Okay, so these are all of the colors. Try and organize them from lightest to maybe darkest, or at least put them in the same color group. And these are all of my swatches, and I am very happy with the colors. After I swatch, them then I decide do I want to keep the gel polishes or not because if I don't like the color maybe found them too streaky not dark enough um, I will return them because you know what's the point on keeping them but these are definitely a keeper I absolutely love all of the colors and now I am going to show you how I put them on my wall So this is basically the key ring that I have and I am going to start putting these on the key ring one by one. Great color set. So then you clamp it together, make sure these don't come apart and now you have them on the keychain and they are very pretty. I love them. Okay. So now I'm going to take them in the box just so that I can show you the little shelf I have on my wall where I have all of my gel polishes. Okay, so this is my little shelves where I keep all of my gel polishes. I keep some poly gels here as well, some regular uh, nail polishes and extra top coats and things like that. And then at the bottom here, I do have like my little color wheels, my swatches. So I look at the swatches and if I like a certain color and then I know what bottle to go to. I think I'm going to end up having maybe like a third color wheel because I just love all of these colors and I might even get more shelves. So here are some shimmers, here are some like opaque like jelly see-through colors and I absolutely love them. More translucent colors and then just more shades and if you notice they are all numbered on top. So that is gonna help me find them. So more shades, more jelly see-throughs here. I have some little poly tubes here. This is for dip powder and the dip powder, I have it in another area. And these are all the ones I just swatched. And then I have more poly gel, more top coat, base coats, primers, anti-hydrators, cuticle oils, gel removers. These are some builder gels, pink and clear, 
I'm going to try to get into trying to do acrylic nails. I have a little bit of monomer here uh, and then just other stuff. These are like extras I'm not going to use until the main ones have been used already. But this is my wall and I do need to get more shelves because I did not think I had so much stuff. And the shelves again I got them at Amazon and I do like these because they do have like a clear border here like a barrier where it's not going to fall off the little shelf which is great so i like that these shelves have that they have them on each end but because i put them together you know obviously i don't need them here just on the end here so i love it and then i have my swatches down here and this is my gel polish wall guys i hope that you've enjoyed this video i know this video is very long but let me just say that swatching is just so satisfying, stress relieving, and it's just time for yourself, just pampering yourself. And I absolutely love doing that. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and let me know what are your favorite gel polishes. Maybe I can look into and in increasing my collection. Thank you for watching.